This card doesn't work on this elevator. Hey, Lamb. Hello, Supervisor. Oh, it's you. I didn't expect to meet you here. How did you gain access to this level? I took the elevator, same as you. You're not following me, are you? I've got better things to do with my time. Bet you're wondering who fixed the elevator. Whoever it was, he gets my thanks. Actually, it was me. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't pull the wool over my eyes. I thought you'd be grateful. Gratitude is for folk who accept charity, lad. I've no time for sponges and scroungers. Oh, wait. Hey, Lamb. Is this where you live? Yes, this is Bellevue. Very nice. Living here makes my job more bearable. But how I wish I could get away sometime. All right, here we go. What I need is a holiday. A break from all this managerial responsibility. Give me a dialogue prompt so I can give Never you mind. Card. Hey, Lamb. Would you like this ticket? What's it for, lad? A tour. Wouldn't you like a holiday? You're right. I really deserve a break. You know, I'm so touched. I'm going to give you something in return. I was kind of hoping you might. Something you'll look back on for the rest of your life. Yeah? Hi, lad. A tour of my factory. Oh, great. Charming. Meet me there. You're in for a treat. I mean, as much as I love, you know, um, how it's made, Exactly what I Come on, Joey. Expecting. Hey, Lamb. When do I get the tour you promised me? Well, there's no time like the present. We'll start right now. Okay. Now, take a look at this machine. This machine measures the internal bore of the pipes. Accurate to 20 decimal places, whatever that means. Impressive, isn't it? All those numbers. I have no idea how I'm my sure factory they mean actually something. works. Follow me. I'll show you the next section. Okay, good. I am automatically following it. This machine is supposed to drive the conveyor, but it's not bloody working. Heads will roll for this. I have no... Norman Potts, why has this machine stopped? Stopped? I've been so busy I didn't notice. Can't I trust you with anything? 
look after my guest pots. I'll have to leave you to show yourself around. Excellent. Excuse me. What can you tell me about the council? I used to think they did a great job. But since they promoted Lamb, I've had my doubts. Do you know a guy called Overman? I don't think so. He certainly doesn't work here. Okay. What are you doing now? Checking for cracks with x-rays. You shouldn't be here without a protective suit. You're not wearing one. Lamb told me I didn't qualify. As I'm a dealing and a woman. What's a D-Link? D-Link is the lowest social category. When your link status is zero, you forfeit all rights and your freedom to move back to the city. How come you didn't know that? I'm an outsider from the Gap. So it's you security you're after. You won't get far without an ID card. Ah, I managed to find one. I bet it won't get you to ground level though. You'll need a link status of eight or more. How come you were made a D-Link? I was caught hacking into Link. Why did you do that? There are areas in Link space used by security. I was trying to discover what they're up to. What do you mean by Link space? The word inside a computer's memory. Cyberspace! The abstract projection of Link circuits and data banks. What do you know about the Council? It was one of the council who came up with a plan to bond his mind with Link. And since then, things have been getting weird. What's so special about these pipes? I'm not sure, but the dimensions of the bore must conform to precise specifications. All that effort for a bit of plumbing? It's suspicious, isn't it? Perhaps they're part of a giant weapon. Oh, come on, that's a bit far-fetched. What are you doing after work? What do you have in mind? Well, an evening at the theater, a walk by the lake in the moonlight, Hacking. and to finish, a candlelit supper. Sounds great, but first I'll have to get decontaminated. Another time, perhaps. What's your opinion of Lamb? I like these are fat I'm a D-Link. I'm not crap. entitled to an opinion. But to be honest, I think he's a turd. I have to get to ground level. Look, I really sympathize with you. I could give you my jammer. What's a go. jammer? Bypass software. Highly illegal. It gets you past the retina scan to security files. That's a start. Can you let me have the jammer? Give me your ID card. Alright, I can do that. Here's my card. Thanks. This won't take long. What are you doing? Downloading the jammer to your card. There, it's done. Don't worry. I'll fix everything. You're taking a huge risk. No problem. I'll get us both back on Link's files. Will the jammer get me into Link space? No, the only access is through the special interface. There's just one little problem. You'll need to get a Shribeman port. All right, so this is dialogue you want to get. How do I get a Shribeman port? Well, you'll have to undergo surgery. I need that like I need a hole in the head. The Shribeman port is a hole in the head. Data Jack. Does Link have any internal security? They'll be foils, naturally. What are they? Intrusion foil programs. Are they dangerous? The standard IFPs are simply deterrents. But some high-level foils can be lethal. Black ice, if you will. See you later.
Alright, heading back down to the plastic surgery place, I guess. I've got a discrepancy of 0.13. Joey. holographic projector. Why not? I have instructions not to disturb him. Unless you wish to pay cash, of course. Hmm. Okay. Try talking to that hologram, Joey. What for? I need to see the doctor. And she won't let me in. What shall I say to her? Hmm. Use your natural charm on her. Robot the robot. I've got an idea. Robot the robot. I'll try the subtle approach. What's the subtle approach? I gotta find the see this. Hey, you! Open that door! I take my orders from Dr. Burke. I take mine from Oberman. Oh, why didn't you say so before? Good grief. That, that worked, apparently. Okay. Oh, and his name, the doctor's name is Burke. It's a reference to British slang related to guys who killed people and sold their organs, to, sold their cadavers to researchers. Excuse me. Don't make me jump like that. Sorry, didn't realize you were busy. Just practicing. I like to keep my hand in. What can I do for you? I need a Shreveman port. Really? Do you have sufficient credit? All I've got are the clothes I'm wearing. In that case, you require the easy pay scheme. Yes, that sounds perfect. Kidney, lung, or testicles? What? what Which organ do you wish to sell? Uh -huh. I'm not selling anything. No parts, no port. Send in the next customer. Port 
Poor devil. Hello there. You're conscious. Oh, yes. You don't look so good. Well, thanks very much. Full marks for your bedside manner. Have you brought me any grapes? I'm afraid not. Oh, thank goodness for that. Grapes make me feel quite squeamish. They remind me of eyeballs. Do you know anyone called Overman? I've never heard of him. The doctor is huffing... Okay. I'm trying to escape from the city. Is that so? I need a Shreveman port. You don't need a surgeon. You need your head examined. I have to go now. Drop by again sometime. That is way more comedic. That okay. Didn't expect that. There is an insurance place next to the doctor, next to the travel agency. I admit I am looking at a bit of a fact here. Can I tell me where I need to go? Hello. Hi. You look like a man who needs insurance, yeah? Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on. Well, he's walked in now. Joey would never do that. Aha! So you think. Surveys show that 42% of all domestic droid owners are worried about the risk of attack. But what's the... This is bullshit, Foster. Don't listen to that moron. Nasty temper that robot's got, yeah? Yes, directed at you. Tell me more about the policy. All you have to do is sign a form. We'll do a probability estimate and give you the results next month. How come it takes so long? We have to strip the robot down and analyze each component. I do not want him handling my parts, Foster. Now I'm definitely not interested. Tell you what, take time to consider it, yeah? A guy in a rubber raincoat carrying an anchor. Know where I can get a Shreveman port? Do you have medical cover? No, I don't. Don't even consider an operation. You wouldn't believe the blunders made by deranged surgeons. No would guessed. Would you recommend Dr. Burke? He's known as the ghoul. And his speciality is fashion jobs. Do you have a client called Overman? I'll check the computer files. Do you know the first name? Uh, no. Hmm. Do you know the address? Uh, no. Do you know what sex this person is? Well, presumably he's male. At last, we're getting somewhere. Now, what is his link status? I haven't a clue. Never mind. 
I'll try a search anyway. Name, Overman. Address, unknown. Sex, male, possibly. No, there's no Overman on my records. Do you have a client called Reich? Can't you get the information from Link? I prefer dealing with people. Let's get this straight. You'd rather talk to me than use a terminal? Yes. Is there something wrong with that? Have you met me? Oh, no. We're going to get along fine, yeah? <laughs> right, huh? Uh, what's his first name? Oh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Thought you said he was your friend. I've got hundreds of Reichs on my files. I mean, we're fascist dictatorship. You... Why everyone likes to name that likes the name Reich? It's like Smith. Or like Smith used to be. Can you help? Ah, just to use an elephant. Hey, man, those things are death traps, yeah? Our policy gives you cover. Tell me more. All right. You'll be covered against vertigo, injuries caused by faulty doors, fellow passengers with flatulence. What about being trapped in an elevator? I hate confined spaces. Well, I'm sorry, but that's your problem. Maybe a shrink could help ya. Why did you choose a career in insurance? With a name like mine, it was my destiny. I'm Billy Anchor, ya? Yeah? Bet that caused problems at school. It certainly did. No joke being first on the register, yeah? Never mind. So talk to the doctor. Give a referral. Excuse me. Let's forget about as you hit. Excuse me. I'm amused by the fact that, that the option of of uh, donating testicles isn't even on the table. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. I'll have to run some tests. Stand behind the scanner, please. Turn around, please. I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. I'd have to overprice myself to be profitable. You make money by trading people's organs? What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? No, that would only be about extracted livers. Excuse me. I suppose I could spare a lung. Let's have a look at them first. On the scanner? Yes, please. Hold still, please. 
Has someone been experimenting on you? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. You're like some sort of Is there something human. wrong? Tell me, Doc. I can take it. You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. All right then. So what? Excuse me. If my organs are too good. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my. It's not as bad as you, you think. Don't, you don't say the line. Then I said I'd take your testes. I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? Oh no, it doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. In that case, I need a general anesthetic. You now have a Schriedman port. You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. Okay. Excuse me. Can you get me to grant? I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend Willy. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. Okay. Thanks again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you. Really interesting differences between the, the, the subtitles and the actual voice acting.